Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Numbers chapter 12, uh, there's a little thing taking place here between Miriam and Aaron. They spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married the Ethiopian woman. And they were saying, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not also spoken by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And the three, they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore, then, are ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. Okay, and we know Miriam was struck with leprosy for seven days, and... The point being in this message is that the Lord, during the time of the Exodus and before that, the Lord came upon, the Holy Spirit came upon people, okay? And in this dispensation that we're in, after the resurrection and the descent of the Holy Spirit, He comes within, okay? The Bible teaches us that we are the temple of the Lord, all right? And in the other New Old Testament scriptures, it speaks about God coming down upon the mercy seat, upon the the tabernacle, okay, of, of in a, inside the tabernacle upon the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant, God will come down and speak to the high priest, okay, or he spoke through the Uman and the Thuman, which was in the breastplate of the high priest, okay, you'll read about that in Samuel, 1 Samuel, David says, bring me the ephod, and he's getting a word from the Lord, and the Lord is speaking from the Uman and the Thuman, okay, so today we have the Holy Spirit within and the Holy Spirit is speaking to us in our heart, in our inner man. The innermost part of the being of a human being is the Spirit. God said in Ezekiel that He would put a new Spirit within us. Okay? This is what He told His people. I will put a new Spirit within you. Okay? And He will write His law upon our heart. And we know it's the intuitive knowledge that knowing uh, what is right and what is wrong, God has written it in our hearts. All right? So when we caution the body of Christ that people who are hearing God speak in their mind, they're saying Jesus is speaking to them in their mind, okay? Actually what it is, the Holy Spirit speaks to us, okay? He is giving us the words of Jesus. He's bringing to remembrance everything that Jesus taught us. You find this in John chapter 14. And then he'll speak in our spirit man. He reminds us of everything Jesus has said to us, okay? This is why we teach people to read the word of the Lord, the scripture, because they can, everything they hear, okay, that's coming from the outside, whether it's the flesh, the world, or the devil, or the Lord himself, okay, you will know, you can, you can test it by the, by the written word, you can test it, you can say, where is this, what is this voice saying to me, can it be backed up in principle, can it be backed up in method, by the scripture, okay, is, am I hearing the Lord in my spirit man, or am I hearing a voice in my mind? See, a lot of people with multiple personality disorder, MPD, and these other uh, mental disorders, they hear voices in their minds speaking to them, see? And they're demonic voices. Voices of the past speaking to them. Voices masquerading as an angel of light, masquerading as Jesus. When we say, which Jesus, what we mean is, there's only one true and living Jesus, okay? And He'll speak in our heart by the Holy Spirit. He speaks to us. And it can be confirmed in principle and in method by the Word of God. So when people come and they say to you that the Word of God, the Scripture, is not the truth, and then they turn around in the next breath and say that it is the truth, okay? That one, one time they'll say it's not the truth, 
just the words of men, the next time they'll turn around and say a day or two later that it is the word of God, that it isn't. See, they're hearing a false voice speaking in their mind. Okay, the devil can't do anything but lie. That's all he does is lie. Okay, and everything he does is built upon a lie, and it's built upon to tear down the truth that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the truth. And the Word of God, His written Word, the Scripture, is the truth. It's absolute truth. This is where the controversy is in the earth. So when we say to you, listen to the, to the Spirit of the Lord speaking to you in your heart, okay, in your spirit man, that's what the heart signifies, your spirit man, inside, deep inside, okay? And it's intuitive knowledge. It's intuitively knowing that this is the Lord. You know His voice. Because he doesn't say anything that goes contrary to his word. He doesn't. He just will not speak that in principle or in method. God says in, in Malachi chapter 3, I am the Lord thy God. I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay. In Hebrews chapter 13 it says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. He is our mighty king. He will not lead us astray. He will not tell us that the scripture is not important. See, that is a false voice speaking. So when people, when we hear people saying that God's speaking to them in their mind, this is a new age teaching. It's a new age belief. Just come and just meditate and just pray, whether you're praying to, uh, to a Jesus or whatever the, the God's name that you're praying to. You know, Zeus, Jupiter, you can pray to Hindu or Islam, Allah, or whatever you're praying to, okay, and then some voice speaks in your mind. See, that's a false spirit. It's of the devil. But the Lord our God, the King of the universe, He speaks deep in our spirit, man. That's where He communicates to us that. That's where He dwells in our spirit. We are the temple of the Lord, Paul told us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. See? Now we are the temple of God. We are the sanctuary of of the Lord. Hallelujah. See? We are His sanctuary. He said He will dwell in the midst of us. Hallelujah. And that's where He dwells, in the midst of us. And that's where He speaks, in the midst of us. And then, as we study the Word of God, and we study to show ourselves approved unto God, and we learn more about His ways, more about His method, and hearing His voice through the Word, then we're able to connect. We're able to connect with our mind what's going on in our spirit man. Okay, and that's how we're able to do it because God's not going to contradict His Word. He's just not going to do it. Hallelujah. That would be a lie if He did contradict His Word. He doesn't do that. Hallelujah. If you read a speech, if you go to the library or if you get on the internet and look up the Gettysburg Address and start reading it, okay, uh, that's the the famous speech that Abraham Lincoln gave in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, after you know with the big war that happened there in the Civil War. Well, when you're reading that, those words, you're hearing the voice of Abraham Lincoln. That's what your mind is envisioning, okay? That Abraham Lincoln's standing there, and he's giving this speech, okay? So you're hearing his voice. So when we read the Bible, when we read the Holy Scriptures, we're hearing the voice of God speak to us. He's speaking history. He's speaking prophecy. He's speaking love. He's speaking judgment, okay? He's speaking all the fruit of the Spirit, everything that He's speaking in the Word. Hallelujah. We hear His voice in the, in the Scripture loud and clear, plainly. And then we'll be sitting there and the Lord will speak something in our spirit, man. And we know that's the voice of God because it's lining up with what we've learned from His voice in the Scripture. Okay? So we know. Hallelujah. And then God, supernaturally, He just connects it with, with our minds. See, our minds have to be renewed by the washing of the water of the Word of God, and that, that we be renewed in mind, that we don't be conformed to this world, hallelujah, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I pray to God that this helps you to understand a little more clearly about hearing the voice of God, hearing the voice of our Savior by the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.